winner is Ricky Fighters. Rick E. Fighter. Hey folks, I'm Sir CG. I'm Bobo the Vulture. And it's time at last for the Battle of Wujang Plains. Yeah. Yeah. We know that there's no, um, we know from some off screen action that there's no um, camp, so we're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and play as Jin Kai side because this may be the last chance. I should probably show some hypothetical. And you haven't had a chance to play as Wei On yet. So. I haven't had a chance to play as Wei On, who appears to be indicating his crouch here. I also haven't had a chance to play as Ma Dai. At least this. Have you played as Zhang Wei? Zhang Wei? I guess. Well, no, because he only became available in the last. Yeah, so battle. I'm picking the only character you've already played as here. Okay. That seems fair. That's, I suppose that is fair. Uh. I remember, I don't know if his moveset has changed significantly. I always remembered him being a challenging character to play as, although amusing, because he generally had, like, breakdancing moves. Yeah, I thought he was pretty effective with the breakdancing attacks, but, um... Let's give it a try. What it is. He's got Super Volgs already. Yeah, the only... We got super a new Volg. Volg. Super Volg, Super Volg. Super, Super, Super Volg. Right. <laughs> She's got Thunderclap and Imperial set, okay. Four. I fight enemy perish. Die would have been simpler, but okay. Even not saying anything, I just I fight ah! enemy. Just I fight. So silly with a pink person. Do you remember the paint pressure attacks being surprisingly effective? They're yeah, little paint if bombs. Rests on this battle. As in every Dynasty Warriors game so far. For the sake of those lives lost in battle, and for those lives yet to be born. Anybody that didn't die in these battles and is already alive, though? Screw them. <laughs> so is this going to be a special thing for your, like, showcase the characters you play as? Maybe. Our land of benevolence. I guess we'll Your find out in a second if this. Well, no, they could remember they showed Mod Die doing his goofy ass bullshit. Chancellor! <laughs> Let me clear my throat. <laughs> I am fine. Come. Let us begin. Let us entertain you. I am relying very much upon the strength of the next generation. Hopefully, we'll go at least six seasons. The time is now. It is our task to put an end to this chaos. Yeah. We shall seize control of the Wu Jong planes, no matter what the cost. All units prepare to attack the enemy. I shall carry out my mission. Prepare the weapons. What are they thinking coming so close to us? That's what we did with a volley of arrows. <laughs> Turn it push the tennis player. Oh, is that what's happening here? Sure. As you can see, my father has taught me well. Not bad. I defeat him. I don't know if you heard about this. It's not others that defeat enemy. It's I defeat enemy. Gotcha. I have never 
Yes. Seen such bravery. Are you here to lend a hand? You have my thanks. Now let's push the enemy back together. We got that cool whirlwind effect too. West is the best. Get there and we'll do the rest. Are you using us in trouble? Oh, I'm getting over there, Shane. We've got to do whatever bonus objective quickly so that we don't uh, fail to get an extra conversation with Yugi Leon. actually seen that one. He was uh, He had like the fake Romana. Oh, I mean, I believe it. I just yeah. have not. At the end, after losing a uh, duel, he dives off of uh, the council wall into the boat right before he does it. He says, Next time, I shall not be so lenient. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Siege weapons over here I should probably be destroying. What kind of commander sends his troops to the battlefield and then refuses to fight? How pathetic. What a loser. How dare you speak ill of our commander? That's it. I'm going to shut you off the floor. So I basically outsmarted you get down pretty easily. I'm a 
also fire on you. Yeah, we destroyed the old ones, guys. Hey, guys, we won the championship. We'll get somebody else going to get in. Go back. Let's yes. just wait. Oh, now the troops are. They're not allowed to wait to be defeated. Okay, so I guess we shouldn't have gone back too far. guys oh we got to take out the messengers shit that's what this is we have to take out the messengers to get our bonus uh, dialogue so how do you do that I think uh, you're gonna need to I think they might be right near you and you got to take them out but they're supposed to be splitting up somehow let's see battlefield info the way messengers see so here's the split up messengers next message Heading east and west. Okay, so that's their escape points. Can we actually see that? Ah, here we go. Okay, so you got to take out that one. I got to take out this one. Um, where are they heading? That we have to get to them. I don't know, but okay, they're I would... headed to that uh, to those exit points of the screen. But they just popped. I think they must start there. Yeah. But I would, uh, yeah, I would beeline for them. I just even run past these guys. I would just come back for them. Either we continue our retreat or slay their messenger. We must keep an eye on the situation and act accordingly. There's one. Are there any left? No. Hopefully this means we can finish this battle soon. Our messenger has been killed. Sure, yeah. So I do have to. So I can't get there from where I'm at. We have to, have to fight my way back down. Alright. Okay, now I can. Oh, but I insist. Jehova. Come to join the battle. Sure you know how to make an 
get you. <laughs> Let's get an IP. Alright, so. Are there any objectives now other than to, uh. Yeah, just baby. Both of the Suma kids. Oh, Yue Yang has defeated John Wong Hua. So that was the Suma Yi's wife has gone down. She's like distantly related to the Jihos. Her mother was a Jiho. That's mother pretty distant. Saint. Yeah, so like, no, I, was, I, I, I thought about it. It's like, no, I'm practically she's really cool. Oh, Jia Chong, aka Alucard. Oh, he's interested in this? So who have we not taken out? I'm just trying to think, is there anybody? Man Chong and Liu Xiao. So they're not even, you know, I don't know that we need to worry about doing a full clear. There's no way you could ever defeat me. I'm completely, oh. Oh, hey. You are finished, Sumayi! Did you do that, or did they get up there? No, I did it. Generation belongs to us. Ah. You shout a lot. <laughs> the Comet of Evil from Illusion of Gaia. <laughs> Imbecile. You don't see, do you? You think everyone who wears sunglasses you is can blind? have this battle. But victory is mine. Well, not if we kill you. What? Can you walk it? The path to rule with no guide. With no guy? <laughs> hmm? Ooh. Brother? No. If <laughs> 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 I trick them, he's actually yeah. fine. I'm trick them into retreat. I screwed up my plans by you screwed up my plans by coming back for me. You could have defeated Sumi Yi. Chancellor. We have to go on without you? Fooled you. <laughs> I wonder if we didn't succeed in getting the egg because we're supposed my to get protege. Oh, this is okay. Chancellor! You are the ones who must forge the next age. Proceed strong in your belief. As I will go forth in mine, yes. I am glad oh. I saw you one last time. And that you a Ying wasn't here. I leave the rest to you. Brother! Oh, but I thought you were going to go rest. In peace. 
my hands shine and run. Benevolence land delayed. I think Yu Yang invented that wheel throne. Yeah, probably. She calls it the uh, Wood Ox Mark II. I shall live by your words. Hmm. Your intent is now our own. Brother. Benevolence will be our goal. Yeah. Me. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Me. Benevolent. <laughs> A great star had fallen and disappeared into the night sky. The unequaled strategist known as Yuge Liang fell in battle at the Wu Zhang plans. He was a man who used his awesome intellect in service of Liu Bei as well as to help realize Liu Bei's dream. Well, to try. His death was felt by every last member of Shu and dealt their cause a severe blow. With no one to lead them, the Shu forces had no choice but to temporarily withdraw. The northern campaigns were continually stuck in a stalemate. Shu was uncertain on how to proceed. Well, they were, after all, just footwear. There was no longer a shining star to guide it on its path. However, what light remained could still be found in the hearts of each of those who were left behind. Therefore, they would continue moving forward. They would continue to try and realize the dream of a land of benevolence. The dream of a gray void. To <laughs> keep moving as long as that goal remains. Goal remain. Keep moving. The younger generation would fight. They would continue to pursue the light illuminating from the future. The future going? That's right, not the past going. Ah, there they are. Get ready. To paint. <laughs> Uh, I'm totally doing my part. Uh, brother, I mean, husband. Is there any specific thing you want us to do, or are you just waving your arms around dramatically? Uh, uh, no. A rare oh. non shouting moment from Zhang Wei. The land of benevolence, Chancellor. Hey, somebody buries you, Gay Leon. He's starting to smell. Watch us. As all your dreams are made reality. Into the little kinky ones. Only a land of benevolence will feature a blue sky. <laughs> he didn't wait. The sky is blood red. <laughs> or it's that. But yeah, it's totally uh, uh, Eddie Money, right? Gonna run you, yeah. Well, this is making me think of the uh, the awesome. Uh, the three uh, the three brothers, like you guys, forging weapons and doing like action posing uh, from that Three Kingdoms TV show. Oh. It was it was we used it as like the preview video for Dynasty Warriors Seven, I guess. Oh, jeez! I remember I remember the preview video that involved the uh, the uh, the love of Lufu, yes, and red hair, <laughs> which they dance together. Really? Motherfuckers and also Bayon and Juan. Uh, not one guy. This is, I mean, this one is guy. a hard one. I, just, the, I mean, in story terms, I feel like Shu uh, is a hard one because, like, in the novel, they're sort of portrayed as the good guys. Yeah, and yet they don't really have a point where everything is gonna go their way. Right, I mean the high the high point for Shu is probably when they uh, win the Mad Battle of Mount Ding Jun because that's their first big offensive territorial capture win against Wei. Mm. 
But uh, no, I mean that's and that's why the the way story actually works fairly well as long as you cut it off uh, before Cao Cao stops his kind of expansionist phase. Yeah. But this is pretty much this is pretty much how it works. I mean, with the death of Zhuge sure. Liang, it's it's kind of. It's kind they, of over. They like they, try, they, they, yeah, they like, can paint a rosy picture, but they no, try it's and pretty keep, much over. They try and keep it up, but uh, there's not. They don't have the. Uh... And John Wei is portrayed is very much portrayed as a tragic figure who's fighting for a cause that's you know long. I don't know why Pang Tong is like gets the glamour shot at the end. I don't have a problem with it, but uh, the true heart and soul of the Shu Kingdom, Pang Tong, he gave it a shot. Produced by Womega Force. So, not sure, 100% sure why we didn't get the hypothetical option before, but we're certainly going to go back and, and take it anyway. Um, when you see a hypothetical chance, take it. Think about the hypothetical paths is that they're all kind of exactly the same. It's like... Well, you know, I mean, basically, they, they, like, everything becomes super rosy, and it's like this rolling path to, like, super right, yeah, or you, whatever. You win. Yeah, which, I mean, you know, I get it if, uh, like, you've right. got a particular group that, like, these are characters that you identify with, they're your favorites yeah, or whatever. Win. You're, yeah, the alternate path that you're trying desperately to get them on is the, like, path to total domination. So, see, Pang Tong gets to still be alive. Um, I guess Liu Bei doesn't die because he's right there at the end. You're... An expeditionary force is join up with Liu Bei, and then it's got okay. You can place Liu Shan in the final defeat of Cao Cao. Um, Zhang Wei is there too. Zhang Wei is here. So we break into the ambush troops. We'll determine the safety and success. We've ended the enemy from summoning reinforcements. Yeah. So killing those two messengers is why we got to talk to Shugi Liang at the end. Otherwise, I think we just we just did. No, oh, that's good then. So um, he's glad he got to see us. We wanted to defeat Xia Hao Mao quickly. We wanted to defeat Zhu Rong three times, and we want to overcome Lu Zhu to Lu Meng's plot. All these exciting things we're going to attempt and possibly not be able to do in future videos. But for now, future, yes. we hope you enjoyed watching the tale of Shu and the Battle of Wujang Plains for like the 20th time. <laughs> Counting all the destiny modes and stuff. I gotta say, I don't know if it's just because, you know, uh, had good leveled up characters mm -hmm. or whatever, but it really did seem like there was just less going on in the battle. And I yeah. don't know if it's just that the actual physical map itself takes less time to get around because of, I don't know, horses or the map itself is smaller or something. But there's just something about the Dynasty Warrior V Battle of Wuxiang Plains that just I feel like never gets captured. No, Part of it is simply the fact that um, if you're playing on, like, am, am I crazy or did Dynasty Warriors Five not have interim saves? It had a limited number of interviews. You could save you three could times do... on normal and once on hard, I think it was. Yeah, and then I guess if was if there was an extreme difficulty or whatever, then you would not be able yeah, to Yeah, Chaos one had none. And I remember actually winning, going through and playing uh, the Chaos difficulty just with... The only character I ever did that with was Jin Kai, and I think I might have done it once with Gen G. But no, and that... Yeah, because I remember in that one just like getting on a horse and beelining for uh, Wei Yan because he had like four lieutenant generals and they would just tear shit up. So the plot didn't tell you to do it, but like the only way I could control the pace of the battle at all was to go straight down there and kill them. And on chaos mode, that meant like, go do that. And like, it, it took about five tries before I did it and it involved spamming Musos, but I finally yep. managed to take them out. And then it was like, okay, now I can't lose because I'll have to go do that again. And, and it, like, it just being more dramatic and intense, but... Yeah, so that just kind of felt like another battle, but it is what it is. The the music that they trot out for the final mission of Jin's story mode, which kind of, A, not only represents, A, the end of the entire Three Kingdoms era, but B, presumably for most people, the last one they're going to play through is just like the uber epicness. They, they really try to pour on with the music, but um, hmm. we'll be seeing that eventually, probably. But for now, I'm the Mysterious GG. I'm Bubble the Vulture. 
Please join us next time as we refight the Battle of Fan Castle. And this time, we get to win. <laughs>